Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Colleen C. to Serendipity. I'm Colleen, welcome into my new viewers and welcome back to my Serendipity Subbies. Today is October 13th, 2022, and I would like to bring you this day in history. The cornerstone is laid for the presidential residence in the newly designated capital city of Washington, D.C. In the 1800, President John Adams became the first president to reside in the exclusive mansion, which soon became known as the White House because of its white, gray, Virginia freestone contrast starkly with the red brick of the nearby buildings. The city of Washington, D.C. Cr created was created to replace Philadelphia as the nation's capital because of the geological position in the center of the existing new republic. The states of Maryland and Virginia ceded land around the Potomac River to form the District of Columbia, and work began on Washington in 1791. French architect Charles Leif E-N-F-A-N-T, Lefant, designed the area's radical layout, full of dozens of circles, crisscross avenues, and plentiful parks. In 1792, work began on the neoclassic White House building at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, by a construction team comprised of enslaved and freed African Americans and Europeans and European immigrants, Irish American architect James Hoban oversaw the design and the, and President or George Washington chose the site. On November first, President John Adams was welcomed into the executive mansion. His wife, Abigail, wrote about their new home. I pray heaven to bestow the best of blessings on this house and on all that shall hereafter inhabit it. May none but wise men ever rule under this roof. In 1814, during the War of 1812, the White House was set on fire along with the U.S. Capitol building by British soldiers, soldiers who retaliated for the burning of government buildings in Canada by the U.S. troops. The burned out building was subsequently rebuilt and enlarged under direction of James Hoban, who addressed east and west terraces to the main building who added east and west terraces to the main building, along with a semicircle south portico and a colonnade north portico. The smoke-stained stone walls were painted white. Worked with Work was completed on the White House in the 1820s. Major restoration occurred during the administration of President Harry Truman, and Truman lived across the street for several years in the Blair House. Since 1995, Pennsylvania Avenue between the White House and Lafayette Square has been closed to vehicular traffic for security reasons. Today, more than a million tourists visit the White House annually. It is the oldest federal building in the nation's capital. I want to thank you for watching today, and I want you to stay safe and stay blessed, and remember to smile because I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. Now, I have a rant. I've been really noticing bad driving habits. I don't know if it's just here in my hometown or where, but it's terrible. Today, a car pulled out in front of me. I was on my way to pick up my daughter from work, 
and there was clearly a stop sign. I know because that is where I work and I stop there every morning when I get off of work. There's no traffic coming, but I stop there. And she just slowed and goed and pulled right out in front of me and it looked like she had kids in the car. I don't know. Another day I was going down the main thoroughfare in our town and it seemed like two vehicles were racing. They were weaving in and out of traffic and not using the turn signals and it was terrible. And then today I come home to my little um, uh, trailer park here and I'm, I'm going on the main one, the first one, the first road here and there's a school bus and she has her flashing lights off. So I'm saying, okay, I have to stop. She's getting ready to let off a child. She waves me on <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I know it's a state law. You have to stop for school buses. And then when I get by, I look in the rearview mirror, she puts the stop sign out. So I'm like, I hope she doesn't have me because I know they record on those buses. And I hope, I'm like, I hope she didn't record me saying, you know, I, she was waving me on. I, I had my brakes on and I was stopping. And I believe, did I, no, I didn't come to a complete stop, but she was waving me on. She, come on, come on, come on. And then when I did pass, she put the stop sign out. So I don't know. I just, I don't know if it's just me that I'm noticing more, uh, just illegal stuff. It's, it's crazy. You gotta, like my mom said, you can't, you know, if you're a safe driver, you gotta watch out for everybody else out there on the road. So I just pray that for safety of the school kids and just, just anybody and everybody out there on the roads, I pray for their safety and just God give these people that are driving crazy, give them a mindset that they're not doing right. And, um, all right, that's my rant for the day. I want to let Ashley know we're still praying for you, hon. Um, quick recovery. Hope to see you back on YouTube real soon doing your crochets and your lives and your crafting videos. All right, everybody. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.